Today we are going to take a look at another useful module that we can connect it to an Arduino board or an ESP32 and it is called the SD card module which allows us to communicate with an SD card we can write data to it for example you could save the temperature and the humidity readings to this SD card so by the end of this video you will learn how to use this module and integrate it to your projects and before we get started make sure to hit the subscribe button that helps me a lot and let's dive right in To follow along, you will need an Arduino board, like the Arduino Nano. You could even use an ESP32. Also, you're gonna need an SD card module. The one that I have is an SD card module, so I will need this adapter to connect it. But if you have the other version, which is the micro SD card module, you simply have to connect it directly, and it works with the same way. We're going to use the same code as well as the connection part. These modules are using the SPI communication, which means you could simply connect the four pins. First of all, we need to power it up by connecting the VCC to the five volt pin, the GND to the GND. For that, I will use these uh, jumper wires, male to female. And let's start by connecting the uh, left one, which is the ground, to the ground of the Arduino, like this pin. Next, we have two options. We have the 3.3 volts or the five volt pin. I'm gonna use the five volt pin instead which goes to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Next we have the CS pin, or the ship select pin. I'm gonna connect it to the pin number 4, not 10, because it doesn't work for me. Maybe the micro SD version works with the pin number 10. The next pin goes to the pin number 11. After that we have the SEK, that goes to the pin number 12, uh, sorry, the pin number 13. And the last one goes to the pin number 12. Once you do that, we can communicate with the micro SD card using the SPI communication. But first I will put the adapter as well as the micro SD card. Make sure to hook it up like that. And let's move on to the Arduino IDE and check if it's working. Basically, we are going to use a built-in library that comes with the Arduino IDE by going to File, Examples and it is called the SD card or the SD library. Let's try with the first sketch that is called card info to read some information about the SD card, like the volume. Here we have the circuit. We've already connected the pins. Here they have included the SPI library as well as the SD.h library. Then we have the card type, the volume, and so on. These will be printed on the serial monitor. So let's give it a try. After selecting the board, I'm using an Arduino Nano that is connected to the COM number 7, but that number depends on your computer. Then we can hit upload. Once it's done successfully, we open up the serial monitor. And there you go. The micro SD module is working. We have the volume type, FAT32, as well as the size of the micro SD card, which is about 14 gigabytes. Now, to be able to write or read from this SD card, we are going to use another sketch by going to File Examples, SD, and it is the last one, Read Write. On top, we have the same libraries, but here we are creating a file object, which allows us to read a file or write a file to the SD card. Under the setup function, we are using sd.begin to initialize it. Then we have to open a file by calling the method sd.open this takes in two parameters. The first one is the file name that we want to open, but if it doesn't exist, it's going to create a new one and give it the name test.txt. The second parameter is the mode. It could be file underscore write mode so that we can write to the txt file. After that, we need to check if it's done successfully using if my file. In such case, we can use my file.println to print a text to this file like testing 1, 2, 3 and after each operation we have to close it so that we can save the changes using my file.close and if we want to read a text inside the file we can use sd.open and assign it to my file object here we have one parameter which is the name of the text file test.txt that we have created by default if you don't set the mode it's gonna be file underscore read by default which means we could only read from the file and we can try to it. After that, we need to check if it's done successfully, if my file returns true. In such case, we can read the characters 
by checking if it's available using while my file dot available and here we are printing the text to the serial monitor using serial dot write by calling the method my file dot read which reads the characters which are testing one two three and finally we need to make sure to close the file now let's give it a try and check if it's working by hitting the upload button and I'm gonna open up the serial monitor make sure to select the same board rate and there you go writing to test.txt it's done and we can read from it we have the same text to double check I'm gonna put the SD card inside my computer so that we can check if we have this file and the same text testing 1 to 3 for that I'm gonna unplug it and insert the SD card for me I don't have the micro SD card reader so I will use this flash disk and plug it to my computer and yep we have test.txt if you open it up we have the message testing 1 to 3 now that we know that our SD card reader is working we are going to create a simple project so this module is very useful I'm gonna connect it the SD card again and we'll add the DHT sensor this is called DHT11 we power it up by connecting the GND and the VCC to the Arduino pins and we have the data pin that could be connected to one of the digital pins like the pin number 2 this pin allows us to read the temperature and the humidity let's start by connecting the left pin which is the ground to the ground of the Arduino next we have the data pin which goes to the pin number 2 and finally the VCC we can use 5 volts or 3.3 volts then we are going to modify the sketch so that we can read the temperature and the humidity and write it to another text file like readings.txt but first of all you have to add the DHT library just search for DHT sensor library and it is this one by Edifruit we've already installed it next we have to add the DHT library using include dht.h then we have to create the DHT object the type is DHT we can give it a name like DHT lowercase this takes in two parameters the first one is the pin that we are using for me it is the pin number 2 and the DHT sensor type we are using DHT11 because there is another version DHT22 after that we have to initialize it under the setup function using dht.begin then we'll use the same commands we need to open up a file and check if it's done successfully in such case we are going to put the temperature and the humidity to save a bit of time I'm gonna copy these lines of code and we'll go under the loop function before we start writing to the text file I'm going to read the temperature and the humidity but first we need to add a bit of delay because the sensor needs a little bit of time to get the right value of the temperature and the humidity like two seconds then we'll create a float variable and call it temp we simply have to call dht.read temperature and the value is going to be in celsius if you want to get it in fahrenheit you have to pass in true next i'm going to add the humidity value and call it a humidity equals dht.read humidity and now we can open up the file using my file equals sd.open here we are going to create another one like readings.txt make sure that the mode is right because we want to write to this text file and once it's done we are going to write to it instead of using the testing uh, message we are going to print the temperature and the humidity but I will use the print command because I don't want to go to the next line first we need to print the uh, text temp so that we can know that the value is the temperature value after that we're gonna add the actual temperature uh, reading using my file dot print temp and I want to add the uh, unit it's in celsius I'm gonna add space and slash so that we can write the humidity value and let's copy these to save a bit of time here we're gonna write humidity and the value of the humidity variable but the unit is the percent and we don't need the slash also we want to get back to the next line after we put all of the values of course we need to make sure to close the file so that we can save the changes 
and here I'm going to change the message to error opening readings.txt and that's pretty much it so you see it's really simple to work with the SD card module and yep, it's done it's initializing the SD card I don't know why it has failed but when I reset the board you see it is working our Arduino board is reading the temperature and the humidity values and it is saved under this text file, readings.txt to check that it's working we are going to uh, take a look at the content of this SD card and yeah, we have the text file readings.txt and yep, the temperature is about 36 celsius we have the humidity, 40% so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like this project if you have any question or comment, make sure to put it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one.